Good morning everybody, it's 2.50 a.m. I'm really blocked this morning. I've just fed the baby and had to take the dog outside because he has diarrhea. Merry Christmas. Good morning, it's Christmas. I'm just about to check on the meat. Jay's put it on at 4 a.m. So it should be coming along deliciously. Oh yeah, check that pork out. Yum, looking good. Yum, looking real good. We're just about to sit down to Christmas breakfast, but I'll just show you Mace made some marshmallows. It's amazing, it's amazing. Hello. It's Mace, that's her marshmallow. We have a lot of food to eat today. And I've already lost my Santa hat because it was way too hot outside, but I forgot to bring another hat, so this is what my hair looks like. Oh no! You see that stain on my shirt? That's baby poo. I had the baby sitting in my lap and she pooed and it came out the side. We just finished Christmas breakfast. Fee's currently doing a feed of the baby. And while I was eating my breakfast, the baby was sitting on my lap and she pooed and pooed a lot and then pooed some more. And as you've just seen, I got it on me. So I'm just ducking back to dad and Mez's place to get changed. Ever so slight change in plans. I got back in the car and realized I only had about 30 Ks worth of fuel left. So I'm ducking into town quickly to fill up with fuel. And then I'm gonna come back, change my poop colored shirt and then go back to the farm. So much running around for a Christmas morning. Thank you. Got fuel, now to go change out of the baby poo shirt. Just got back to the house, so quickly gonna get myself changed and put a hat on. Changed, new shirt, new shorts. I had baby put on my shorts as well. Now back around to the yeah. farm. Got some Drake happening for the drive. I mean, is there anything really more Christmassy than Drizzy? farm now I need to go check on the meat again and probably find a beer I don't even think it's lunchtime yet but I think it's beer o'clock got the barbecue set up here because then they're close to the uh, hose if need be I left the thermometer out in the Sun and all the screens just black don't think the thermometer is much good let's see how she looks that looks awesome big old pork shoulder meats looking good about another hour I reckon Present number two. Bonus. Currently quite excited by the paper. She loves her present paper. Bay and Mace are opening their presents. Yes, I actually really want to. I think Fee just bought it. Okay. 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 What's that? Oh, Fresh craze. <laughs> I'm so full. It's too much food. There's so much food still left. I'm defeated. We made choices. <laughs> it was delicious, but it was too much. Yes. Oh, sweet. What'd you get? I got an eye route rush. What did the fish say when it swam into the wall? Damn. <laughs> Baby's up for a nap. And we're about to join Chris Kringle. Yeah. Lani has a hat with numbers in it. <laughs> then, in order, starting at number one. <laughs> so is anyone unclear of the rules? Hey yeah, Squish, have you had a good Christmas? <laughs> Chris Kringle's done. As always, it ends up with some people getting presents that they really like and other people getting presents that they didn't really want. You got your present, didn't you? Mace got the one that she put in. Um, I got a book. Now we're gonna do the Christmas pudding, which has been heating in the slow cooker for the day because the oven's broken. And eat that for dessert, and it's gonna be delicious! This bit makes me really nervous every time. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's eat this thing. Delicious. Dessert is done. Still half a pudding left and a whole one in the fridge. Maybe I didn't need two. Also, this is really cute. Well, that's pretty much Christmas done. We're currently on our way back to Dad and Mez's. Quite a successful Christmas. I do feel like I should point out, you may have watched an entire Christmas vlog and been like, where's the presents that Nath got for Fee or Fee got for Nath or Nath and Fee got for Luna? Which is a fair question to ask, but Fee and I had talked this year and decided that there was actually nothing that we needed or particularly wanted. It, like, it does seem a little bit silly every year having to spend money just for the sake of spending money like you don't 
there's a lot of Christmas presents that you get given and you smile politely and you appreciate the effort the person's gone to, but in reality, you're never gonna use that thing. So because of that, we just decided that we wouldn't wouldn't do Christmas presents for each other this year. And it's cool that it's Luna's first Christmas and all, but she's also only four months old and has no idea what anything is as far as Christmas goes. And to be honest, her favorite thing is just baking paper because it makes cool crinkly sounds. So next Christmas when she's, uh, you know, almost a year and a half old and will be far more aware of the fact that it's Christmas, oh, don't you worry, she will get well and truly spoiled. You also might have been watching and couldn't have cared less about the fact that you didn't see any presents. But if you did wonder, now you know. So from us here at the Melons, hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and we'll see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas, Luna.